Now you may be thinking, what is this? This is a leaky roof. This is a leaky roof, ladies and gentlemen, and it's chilly over here. I have my little cap on, and I built a little fire, and it is almost July. So that ought to give you an indication of what it's like to live in New Mexico, the land of enchantment. When people are scalding to death, we can still have weather where you need to have a little jacket. Some long sleeve shirt and all that, so... But it's nice in here now. I have built a little tiny fire and that's good enough. But the, uh, the whole idea of, uh, uh, of the roof leaking is, is not one that I'm looking forward to. But it's okay, you know. I mean, the, uh, the major things which were on the ends of the roof which over there, they're doing great. So thank God for that. So I, I gave special, more special attention, I think, to the ends. And I should have given super special attention to everything. So once it dries out, I'm going to get up there and take care of that. And, you know, I've been doing these paintings, and I've really enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed doing these paintings and it's been a it's been a, a real fun experience for me to do and it looks like you can kind of see them I've got my in the viewfinder you can kind of see them uh, a little bit this one was pretty pretty matte finish I put a little bit of gloss on it and that's a cool one I like that and I like them because that, that one right there's got you got like 15 stripes or something some of them got uh, less some of them got more so it's a fun process for me to go through I really like this piece here a lot this piece is a real good one it's got a really good texture to it. I really like it. So that's what I'm doing right now. I think I've showed you these obviously before, but I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with them. That's a good one. And this is an interesting one too. So this one I think is going to get... See, there's some staples, man. There's some staples. I'm gonna get those out of there because these things will hurt you. They do hurt when you get stapled. That's why they call them staples. Well, actually, that's not why they call them that, but I don't know why. I don't know. So anyway, and then we got this one. It's got that. So different ones. And this, this uh, George Washington was from when I was doing screen printing when I lived in LA. I screen printed a bunch of those. There's a bunch of screen prints from the uh, from that period that I had when I did the show in Salzburg. Which is cool. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these paintings. And I'm thinking about doing a series just of paintings of these uh, uh, flags. Because, you know, at this point in my life, I mean, I like doing them. I enjoy making those stripes, and I enjoy making those, that blue with those little stars that look like circles and stuff. I mean, it's, it's fun for me. It's enjoyable. And the thing, about, the thing about a flag is that even if it's got 15 stripes, like the original flags, there was no such thing as, a, as an official American flag, from what I understand, for quite a while. But uh, so this, the, it's it's not that the it's not that it has to be uh, that looks like an American flag. This is a, an American flag over here. Now this is this is uh, done with pieces that I pieced together and made that, and that's beautiful. I like that. But you know what? That's beautiful too, and that's beautiful too. You know, and whenever you see this, when you see. 
like a blue square up there with some red and white stripes, you automatically think American flag, no matter what it is, because it's such a such a universal. Well, the universal is not the wrong word. It's such an international symbol. Like, see this flag over here. That's that's just well. It's actually it's got looks like it's got probably the right number of stripes anyway. So these are these are fun fun for me to do. I really do enjoy them. Uh, this is one of my favorite ones right here, that piece. That piece is really super nice. That's, uh, that's got a lot of the, uh, everything but the flag has been covered with puzzle, part, puzzle pieces. And I don't remember what that, yeah, that was a piece that I had, and it got changed a lot, and the texture of it really changed a lot. Well, not to, not so much the texture, but the painting sur the painted surface, and then I put that flag on there, and that flag is made out of these stripes. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It looks like nine, seventeen, seventeen stripes or something on that flag, and some little tiny stars back in there, like a like a universe, <clears throat> like a universe rather than a. A background for a flag, but it's kind of more like a universe back in there. So that's a fun one. That's a real good one. And then this one right here, this one's got all kinds of glitter on it. So that was that's a fun process. That's a fun one to do. So they're fun. They're enjoyable. I mean, I really do enjoy making them. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. And that one right there is this true, T-R-U, like true. And then you go MP, what's that? Oh, I'm military police. And then and it says one or it says own. So it's kind of a nutty, nutty flag. Yeah. I did that many, many years ago. Many years ago. Hooray for our side. So, anyway, the weather, we'll go outside and experience the weather. It's still rainy out here. Oh, well, it was. I don't know. It looks like it might have stopped. Yeah, it looks like it stopped. No, it's a little, little tiny bit of dripping. But I went ahead and painted this this walkway. I painted it so it kind of gives more of a, you know, more of a pink marble look. That's what I was going for. Something, you know, like, you know, like something you'd find in, you know, Versailles or something like that. So anyway, this is what it's like, and it's almost July. This is, the, I think, the 29th. It's uh, Tuesday. Getting close to the, getting close to July. There's a shovel. Got this shovel from Paul. It's the man that died. Tommy and I went up there. I went up there to help Tommy to clean it up and everything. And that was one of the shovels. And it's just an old shovel that I liked and. And I liked it because I walk around with it for snakes and stuff. And, uh, you know, you can see how weathered it is. And I started cleaning off my brushes on the handle to give it more of a, you know, something easier on my hand. It was, it was still okay. I mean, it wasn't a problem. But, but I kind of like it with the, with the handle like that. And the color will change depending on what I'm painting. That's a good painting. I love my work. I, you know, I'm probably the only person that really loves it so much. This right here, that's that is. I consider that, even though it's not true, the the first piece in the my uh, Nazi clown series, which you can look at at NaziClowns.com. And this is a, a really nice piece. I like it. 
I really do. So anyway, I just wanted to do a, to do a video and see if you can see Batman in there somewhere. I just wanted to do a video. Give you a little, you know, uh, update as to what's going on over here. And the only thing that's going on right now is I've got to fix that roof. And this is an interesting piece. That's a George Washington puzzle. Those are fun. They're fun. I like them. These are some pieces that are laying around. I'm thinking about what to do with them. So I don't know. And I've got a whole stack somewhere, I don't know where they are, of American flags. I don't know where they are. I don't know where they are. Maybe they're out in the, in the container. But these flags right here, with the flag right there like that, I have a bunch of those just like that, except without the paint. And so i got to find those, because that's going to be a really good series. And I don't know where they are. I thought they were in this stack of stack of things, but they, they're obviously not. So I don't know where they are, and I don't have any idea where they are. So maybe I'll go out to the container and check it out. And the other day I was walking. I don't know if I told it, told you about this, but the other day I was walking. There's a really nice one right there. Turn on the light. This is a really, really nice one right here. Really good painting. Very good painting. Excellent. Okay, well, anyway, I forgot what I was going to say and it didn't really make any difference anyway. So anyway, I will, looking around trying to remember what I did with those things. Oh, I was going to show you that, that uh, flashlight. A man gave me a flashlight. He gave me this, he gave me this little charger. This is a battery charger that you plug in with a USB port for charging the batteries. He gave me a, a flashlight and two rechargeable batteries. This thing right here, it's like 60 bucks or something. 60, maybe more than 60 bucks. And it's got a... You know, it's a really good... What's going on here? Look at that. Man, I'm getting old. I saw some pictures of myself the other day. I I lost my good looks way back when. But I didn't think that was true. But now I do think it's true that I lost my boyish good looks. Well, I'm 70. I'll be 71 years old here pretty soon. So I guess that's about the time that you start to go downhill a little bit. But anyway, that's it. And uh, let me go see if I can find those flags. I'm Hello Rodney. Thanks for watching. And bye-bye.